Radio host and comedian Jalango has denied accusations that he threatened blogger Edgar Obari. Jalango is alleged to have threatened the vlogger after he failed to attend a meeting with him at the DCI headquarters. The comedian took to his IG page to respond to accusations leveled against him, saying someone was out to taint his name. According to Jalango, there are people who are trying to bring him down, using the vlogger vowing not to engage them on the allegations. Diamond Platinum is known for his flexing kind of lifestyle which comes with wanting to prove his might in the music scene. The singer went on IG sharing short videos on his Insta story while chilling in bed with bundles of cash spread all over it. The singer acted as if he was counting the money as he picked and dropped the bundles proving that he gets paid pretty handsomely. The money he flaunted seemed to be pay for a show he did in Guinea and was proudly paid up front because the videos he shared was hours before the event took place. Gospel singer Peter Blessing has responded on his ongoing tussle with singer Kevin Bahati. The young artist through his new management released a press statement asking that matters be settled out of court. Peter Blessing's team say they were shocked that a gospel artist want to settle things in the courtroom. The new managers also raised a concern about the never-ending disagreements between Bahati and his fellow gospel artists that were or are still under EMB records. Larry Mado had been on medical observation in New York, USA after being taken ill on January 6th. The former TV news anchor shared the worrying news on his social media pages, setting off the alarm bells. He shared on social media a photo of him being lifted into an ambulance while wearing a face mask with medics carefully attending to him. Mado was fit could have possibly caused more concern for those who couldn't understand his message, but he assured his followers that it was definitely not a case of coronavirus. Korean film Parasite has won Best Picture at the 2020 Oscars. The thriller from Okja director Bong Joon-ho is the first film not in the English language to win the award. Bong won the award for Best Director earlier in the evening in another unexpected triumph. Veteran actress Laura Dunn won Best Actress in supporting role for a turn as a sassy divorce lawyer in Netflix Marriage Story. Other wins included Best Animated Film featuring Animation Going to Toy Story 4, Best Adapted Screenplay for Jojo Rabbit, The Best Visual Effects for 1917. Brad Pitt took home the Best Actor in Supporting Role for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Congratulations to all of them.